you're cruising down the highway, feeling the power of your engine propelling you forward. But little did you know, there's a silent menace lurking within your beloved vehicle. Carbon Buildup The sneaky culprit that can wreak havoc on your engine and turn your joyful ride into a clanging nightmare. Today, we're lifting the hood and peering into the depths of your car's heart to expose the shocking truth about carbon cleaning. Prepare to be enlightened, entertained, and maybe even a little bit alarmed as we unveil why you should never carbon clean your car's engine. Ladies and gentlemen, gearheads and everyday drivers, get ready to have your engines revved and your minds blown as we dive into the heart of a topic that has car enthusiasts buzzing. We all know that a clean engine is vital for optimal performance. But what if we told you there's a dangerous secret lurking beneath the surface? Join us as we journey through the twists and turns of combustion chambers, fuel injectors, and the delicate balance between power and danger. We'll separate fact from fiction, debunk misconceptions, and reveal the mind-boggling methods some people resort to in their quest for a clean engine. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready to navigate the treacherous terrain of carbon buildup as we unveil the hidden dangers that could be lurking in your car's engine. This viral video is your ticket to automotive enlightenment. And trust us, you won't want to miss a single minute of this eye-opening adventure. Get ready to rev up your knowledge and discover why carbon cleaning may not be what it seems. Let's dive in. Understanding Carbon Buildup Ah, the sweet smell of burning gasoline in the air. It's a symphony of power, a dance of combustion that propels us forward with every push of the pedal. But did you know that this fiery performance comes with a side effect? Yes, my friends, I'm talking about carbon. You see, when gasoline burns in the Earth's atmosphere inside your engine, one of the byproducts is carbon. It's like the sneaky residue that overstays its welcome in your combustion chamber. And let me tell you, carbon isn't the kind of house guest you want lingering around. So, what's the big deal with carbon buildup, you ask? Well. Imagine this. As carbon takes up space inside your engine, it starts playing Tetris with your compression ratio. It squeezes into the nooks and crannies, leaving less room for the air-fuel mixture. And you know what that means. Higher compression, baby. It's like turning up the volume on your engine's internal symphony. But here's the catch. Higher compression can lead to pre-ignition, aka your engine clanging like an offbeat drummer while you're cruising down the road. Trust me. That's not the kind of soundtrack you want accompanying your drive. Carbon buildup in conventional versus GDI engines. Now, let's talk about two types of engines, the conventional and the GDI. The conventional engines, like the trusty Toyota Matrix, have their fuel injectors on the intake side. So, when the air gets sucked in, the injectors spray gasoline, which also helps keep those intake valves clean. It's like giving them a little shower of fuel. No carbon buildup here, folks, as long as you use good gasoline and change your oil regularly. But oh boy, here comes the troublemaker. The GDI engine, short for gasoline direct injection. Take an older Volkswagen with one of these and you've got a recipe for carboning up your engine. You see, with GDI, the injectors spray fuel directly into the block, bypassing those precious intake valves. And with all the anti-pollution equipment doing its thing, the PCV system takes oil deposits and burns them. But without the fuel mixing in, carbon can build up on the intake systems like an unwanted art installation. Those Volkswagen engineers should have seen it coming, but alas, they didn't. I've seen engines so carboned up, they required a walnut shell blasting session to set things right. It's like an engine spa day. But instead of cucumbers on your eyes, it's walnut shells on your valves. Carbon Cleaning Misconceptions Now, let's shed some light on a dirty little secret. Carbon Cleaning Misconceptions You see, some folks out there are trying to sell carbon cleaning like it's the holy grail of engine maintenance. They go out, buy a fancy machine, and want to pay for it by convincing everyone that their engines desperately need carbon cleaning. But let me tell you, my friends, that's not always the case. Your engine must be fine without all that fuss. But how do you know if your engine needs carbon cleaning? Well, fear not. 
for there's a nifty tool called a borescope that can give you a peek inside. Think of it as an engine detective, solving the case of carbon buildup. You can even find affordable ones on eBay that hook up to your laptop or phone. No more guesswork, just a straightforward inspection. Scotty Kilmer, the car whisperer himself, had a clean engine thanks to proper maintenance and a heavy foot on the gas pedal. He and his wife are quite the speed demons. And you know what? That helps keep the engine clean. So, if you've got a need for speed, chances are you won't be dealing with carbon buildup. Hey there fellow gearheads! Are you feeling the heat of carbon buildup yet? Or are you still cruising along smoothly? Drop a comment below and let us know if your engine is in need of some carbon cleaning or if it's clean as a whistle. We're dying to hear your car tales. The Italian Tune-Up Now, the legendary Italian tune-up is like the secret handshake of car enthusiasts. Picture this. Your car has been driving too slowly, maybe gathering carbon like a collector's item. Well, fear not, my friends, for the Italian tune-up is here to save the day. It's like a burst of energy, a rejuvenating experience for your engine. You hit the highway, unleash your inner speed demon, and let the wind cleanse away that pesky carbon. Trust me, it's like a turbocharged detox session for your beloved vehicle. Just ask Scotty Kilmer. His wife's Camry station wagon ran even better after a long road trip. So sometimes, it's okay to break the speed limit for the sake of your engine's health. Just don't tell Officer Friendly I said so. Safe Carbon Cleaning Methods Now. Let's talk about safe ways to tackle carbon buildup. First things first, put that jug of water down. Pouring water down your engine's throat might sound tempting, but trust me, you'll be drowning your poor car in regret. Water and engines aren't the best of friends. Too much water can lock up your engine and bend those pistons, turning your ride into a metal orchestra of disaster. And please, I beg of you, don't even think about grabbing one of those high-pressure steam wands at the car wash. Unregulated steam showers are not the kind of spa treatment your engine deserves. It's like sending your car to an unqualified therapist and expecting miracles. You'll only end up with a hefty repair bill and a broken heart. But fear not, my fellow engine aficionados, for there are safe carbon cleaning methods out there. Various carbon cleaning systems exist but only a few are worthy of your trust. One method that caught my attention is the ATS Chemical 13C Induction Cleaner. It's like the Swiss Army knife of carbon cleaning. This little marvel hooks up to your engine's induction system and unleashes a precise release of specially formulated chemicals. It's like a microprocessor-controlled symphony of cleanliness, effectively cleaning all of those nooks and crannies without causing any engine damage. Talk about a match made in car maintenance heaven. Assessing the need for carbon cleaning. Now, before you go rushing to clean every ounce of carbon from your engine, let's assess the need. Take a moment to evaluate your engine type and your driving habits. If you've got an older GDI engine, it might benefit from periodic carbon cleaning. Those suckers are prone to building up like a magnet on metal. But if you're driving a normal non-GDI engine and you're hitting those highway speeds on a regular basis, chances are you're in the clear. Just keep using good gasoline, change that oil like a responsible car parent, and you'll be singing carbon-free tunes. The Truth About Carbon Cleaning So, my fellow car enthusiasts, let's wrap it up with the truth about carbon cleaning. For most people and their modern engines, it's like throwing money into the engine oil abyss. Modern gasoline and engine configurations have come a long way since the days of Model T Fords. Those babies would carbon up faster than a squirrel chasing a nut. But fear not, my friends, for modern fuel injector systems and computer-controlled ignitions have our backs. They keep our engines efficient, and carbon buildup is not the monster it once was. So, unless you've got a genuine need for carbon cleaning, Save your hard-earned money for something that'll truly rub your engine. And that, my fellow automotive adventurers, brings us to the end of our wild ride through the hidden dangers of carbon cleaning. Remember, the truth is out there, and it's up to you to make the informed decisions about your engine's health. 
If you've enjoyed this eye-opening journey and want to stay up to date with all our future car repair videos, don't forget to subscribe to Car Computer Exchange and ring that bell. Together, we'll keep our engines running smoothly and outsmart any carbon buildup that comes our way. Until next time, stay revved up and drive on.